Hey what's up guys, this is Akshi and I finally switched to Pop OS by System76. So this is an Ubuntu based Linux distribution and I'm absolutely loving it. So in this video we will discuss about why I switched from Windows 10 and what features I'm using in Pop OS, which apps I'm using and how is the overall experience. So let's start, shall we? So this is the desktop as you can see this is the Pop OS GNOME desktop and basically there are various desktop like it is very similar to Android so Linux uh, basically Android is based on Linux kernel in the same way it is very similar so you can see you can install as for example in Android you install different launchers here you can install different desktop so this is the default GNOME desktop by system 76 you can see you have your notifications which syncs with your phone as well and you have your calendar as well as weather so it shows your weather according to the location and basically the reason I'm switching from Windows is because uh, this laptop which I'm using this is the Lenovo G50 7059 and it's basically three years and I have formatted it more than seven times because at a point Windows becomes slow unresponsive I need to format it again so these three years I have formatted seven times and now I was like that's enough that's enough now I need to switch now so I switched uh, it was very difficult to get the, your apps so we have a special bonus in this video which we'll discuss about so which will help you to switch to Linux and basically uh, the, the latest update the Windows 10 July update uh, actually disabled the SMB version 1 support which means that I was not able to connect to my router hard drive so kind of a nice setup for that you go into windows programs and edition settings you have to click a button to enable smb version 1 you have to wait 20 minutes and restart in order to connect to an smb file server which is pathetic and that's the reason i moved to linux and i don't think so i'm switching back because this is just amazing now let's see so this is the gnome desktop you have your uh, shortcuts you don't have any apps here because apps are in the in the toolbar which I will show you soon so you have your calendar you have your uh, you call it uh, volume slider microphone slider your brightness slider your Wi-Fi Bluetooth and everything is here and your account as well now when you press Windows key or super key you get this this is so cool right so you have all your apps as well as your shortcuts so this is the shortcuts that I have uh, choose to display you can enable up to like 10 or 8 uh, as you can see and also if you want to access all apps you just hit the show applications so very similar to Android as you can see and I have installed a bunch of applications now the performance here is excellent pop OS by system 76 is great it is responsive and the best thing is I installed this and I didn't install any drivers at all it automatically configured all drivers from display drivers to microphone drivers and everything there was a one glitch that was like microphone was not working so I just need to download one app uh, I will show you which is called as pulse audio and where is the pulse audio you can see so basically you have to download this and uh, up the volume start that's it that is the only configuration I did for working every device in this laptop so we can see great driver support so basically driver support is out of box last time I tried Manjaro last year it was not detecting my graphics card this is the problem with the laptop so I need to go to BIOS disable the graphics card and then only I can boot to Manjaro but in this system 76 by Pop OS it's flawless no configuration automatic configuration everything was so easy so anyone can try basically and it is and you can see you have your apps so let's go to say settings so this is the settings you can see pop os uh, you, i have 4gb of memory core i5 uh, amd radio on 9202 gb ddr3 graphics so good specs i would say not best but it's good specs i was lagging in windows like even if i save a file save office file i just change a word and control s not responding this is what windows was doing so i was i was depressed so i just switched 
and this is like this is awesome like i really don't believe that last time to manjaro it was not a smooth experience but system 76 nailed it now let's talk about the apps experience so basically generally when you come from windows what you do is you search for apps windows outlook for linux or microsoft office for linux stop that because microsoft is kind of creating exclusivity for windows they are not making office apps for linux because they know that if they do that probably most of the people going to switch it so for your help i have created a cheat sheet we call it linux switch to linux cheat sheet this is on a website i will leave the link in the description below and i have listed apps that i use on windows and now i am using on linux basically there's a learning curve but once you switch you're going to be really happy because performance of these apps is 10 times better than what it has been on windows on the same machine and without any configuration difference so you should give it a try there is some apps missing out there like half of my steam library is not supported on linux but which supports natively it just run awesome now there are some alternative like you can install wine and i don't like it because it's not really stable if you do this you know you going to never leave windows okay so switch to native linux apps it works flawlessly so as you can see i have photoshop with chris as gimp so let me show you gimp which is gnu image manipulation and you can see so this is similar to say adobe photoshop and i've tried it it's really good like it really loads fast as you can see and it is awesome it performs very well it has a wide range of support for all the images as you can see and it is nice and smooth not as laggy as what adobe see adobe photoshop express is on this machine earlier now my favorite apps like telegram zoom steam spotify is already natively available on linux so you have to just go to this pop shop which is pre-built by system 76 and you can install apps just like play store simple as that no need to go download desktop apps and blah 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 like it's just there and there's some limited apps here so if you want more apps for example i couldn't find zoom you can go to this dev site download the deb package dot debian package you can install right away or you can use any third party play store like experience for example i have installed uh one snap store so there you are another play store there's a lot of customization options here you don't like desktop change desktop switch to kde desktop which looks similar to windows i love this gnome because this is very minimalistic good so i just use this or you can switch to desktop and you can see this is snapshot there's a wide range of applications available here from skype to plex and everything you can just use it and basically this cheat sheet only includes things that i tried i couldn't add everything but basically this will give you access to say basically mailing photo editing video editing uh, creating office documents uh video players streaming services messenger i try my best to include the best possible so now this is not like the top 10 apps for linux there could be a better alternative as well this is what i use and i found it stable on pop os definitely you should give it a try now as you can see the desktop is now as you and there's a lot of keyboard shortcuts for so windows key is called super key in linux so super plus a lists you all apps as simple as that and the search is incredible you can even search files in the menu so for example let me search ttsmg and you can see it's searching right now but it is also searching files you can see i have a folder ttsmg workspace with all my videos are here and you can just access in windows you have to go to file explorer then it will show that green line it, it will wait forever and you couldn't find the file so simple as that right and basically the 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 best thing about us is the battery life like i'm feeling like i have a new laptop like literally so uh, basically the three modes like windows are just similar to windows you know high performance balance and battery life So in high performance mode in Windows I was getting a half hour of battery life here I'm getting 45 minutes plus about an hour okay about an hour on performance mode you can game on it just awesome 
and balance mode I'm getting around two hours versus one hour 30 minutes on Windows so basically I'm getting 20% better battery life on Linux and in battery life mode in the battery saver mode uh, you can go up to two plus three or two and two and a half to three hours three hours which is incredible and I just hibernated it in hibernation mode I found it can last up to two days I mean everything of just one light blinks on the laptop and once you turn the power key within three seconds you're on the desktop so your files are saved it doesn't run in background but in this way you can increase the standby up to two days now this feature was also on windows but it was not working good because it was completely shutting out this the pc and it, it take longer to boot and the experience on windows was not so flawless the best thing about this pop os is not only the apps experience or the smoothness updates as well so pop os which is a play store like experience also updates the operating system as well so operating system updates is also part of the pop os updates so if in if you're working no problem you can upgrade in background or you can choose to upgrade so no more windows like your pc gonna restart in 10 minutes and blah 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 no worries and hardly for some things only it requires a restart since i got this pop os it's almost two plus weeks i would say and i have restarted i think three times maximum like three times maximum uh, one time for installing uh, the 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 Android emulator uh, which was also very nice so uh, I don't I don't recall the name you can unbox okay Anbox. so Anbox is a container it is not a virtual machine it is an Android container in which you can launch Android apps now the setup was pathetic I think I wasted two days in that it booted I installed Play Store in it Play Store was working fine but apps couldn't work because it was on license play services so that's why it was in the beta but i think that can really change the linux experience you can literally run android apps in the window and some apps like files or 2048 games were working so that's great now as you can see this is the settings there's a lot of customization options you can choose which notifications you want which like just like in android like, it's very similar to android also you can receive your phone notifications uh, using this you can see me it was connected with 47 percent of battery life you can even mount the storage so if you mount the storage you can browse all the files on your phone so this is an application called kde you can install the kde connect on the on the android phone as well as kde gnome on desktop so even if you copied something on your phone you can just control v on the desktop paste it like voila this is the best feature like you just copy something copy some link and paste it here in the browser and it's awesome experience now let's open the nautilus file explorer first so you can see this is the nautilus file explorer this is the default by gnome but you can install any of those and it is very minimal it is very fast as you can see you have google drive connected to it so this is not like windows where you put files and then it will sync in background it syncs in real time for example if i paste something in here it's gonna upload right away in windows if i paste something after half an hour it can see in my drive. so this is very good love this you have all your files as well as you can connect various services also i'm able to connect my ready share nas which about a new router and it has hard drive connected to it so i can just connect it now because basically because my wi-fi is turned off uh, you can see it's not connected i'm connecting to my geo network right now i've turned my router for some reason off but once again to router i can browse files on it and also you have home desktop documents downloads music pictures everything is fast you can see how fast it is indexing this isn't hard drive this is not an ssd okay i'm getting ssd like experience here also there's various desktops you can do multitasking now let's talk about uh, the the app selection so you have amazon music uh, i will leave this trick in the description you can install the web app and let's talk about say office editing first so microsoft office is not available for linux so the other alternative is libreoffice which is pre-installed in pop os or wps office now i find wps office to be good because it has good support of microsoft office so it can save files in our docs format so you can just work like 
You can see switch to Linux cheat sheet I just created and I will just launch it like this. You can see it opens very fast and the experience is really good. It looks very similar to Microsoft Office, okay? And in this way, you can just order your documents and it is .docs format. So this is the, the best I can find the Office alternative here. You need to literally have some learning curve here and switch apps, but the experience is really good. And guess what? I also want HP drivers here. So I can print, scan, uh, and this is just amazing. Uh, Zoom meetings here, YouTube music. Uh, Stacer is uh, very similar to Clean Master. So this clean cache and gives you the hardware configuration. Simple Note is again alternative to Microsoft OneNote. It syncs with your phone. And Spotify, everyone's favorite music streaming service is natively on Linux. Now if you're thinking what is this, so basically this is a browser link which will open a small browser like Windows and Chrome to Office Microsoft Office Online. You can do this too. You have OBS, you have Steam. Now let's talk about the gaming experience which is of course Steam. So you can see I have a bunch of games installed here and the gaming experience is really good. Now if you're comparing FPS, please stop it. In Windows only you've got good FPS. But if you want good real life gaming experience, this is your choice. For example, uh, I have say 30 minutes. In 30 minutes I have to play a game. In Windows I'll just launch the game, wait for 15 minutes, then it won't run because graphics card is not detected. Then I shut down my computer, restart my computer, and my 30 minutes is gone. Here on Linux, the game launches in 10 seconds, 10 minutes, sorry, 10 seconds too fast. 10 minutes, and I can play the game for 20 minutes. Like no restart required, everything just works out of the box. You won't get better FPS, but you will get smoother performance. And in Windows, if I play more than 20 minutes, my fan's gonna spin very high, the laptop will become very warm. But on Linux, on this Pop OS, it is not like that. I can play for more than a half hour, or up to hour, and it doesn't lag. It doesn't heat up that much. Fans spin, but not that loud. So that's great. So as you can see, actually, uh, Steam is testing Proton, which will enable Windows game on Linux. So you can see, I can just participate in that, but let's see. You have this, you have Steam, so natively, sub, natively supported. As you can see, this this is the games that support Linux. Now, let me, so I have 27 games in library, in which 12 are supported on Linux. So there is cut down here, and for gamers, I think you need to have both installed Linux as well as Windows. But once you switch to Linux, I'm sure that you're going to use Linux more than Windows. And I've completely worked Windows and I don't think I'm going back to Windows anytime soon unless I get a new laptop. So overall experience on this is incredible. Uh, kudos to System76. Uh, let me let me show you their website. They're just amazing people out there. So you can see the browser experience. You have Chromium here, which is Google Chrome. So system76.com So you can see front step forward and user experience and bubbles you can install any anywhere basically it's good So you can see we believe the computer and operating system are most powerful and versatile tools ever created We are building OS for software developers, makers and computer science professionals who use this three computers as a tool to discover and create So they have very good support and basically this is Ubuntu based distribution is anything that works with Ubuntu gonna work with Pop OS. So I think if you're giving a Linux a try, you should try Pop OS or Manjaro. Manjaro was not a smooth experience for me, so I like Pop OS. And uh, you can do any customization like Android you want. It's just amazing. Well, that's pretty much for this video. Hope you like this. You can check the cheat sheet here, which will help you to upgrade to Linux. And if you have any questions, leave in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.